That's fair. Welcome. Today's build. Time. All right, so step one here, you can just see me taking the four a strip of four LEDs, and that'll be the pretty much the base for each of the hexagons. But um, as you can see, the I've seen a lot of fumes come out of here. I found it's best to inhale those fumes. Um, that way, you can really uh, prevent someone else from breathing them in because they're not too uh, not too safe to breathe in. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. But once you have those beautiful solder joints, you can go ahead and uh, admire them, of course. It's key to building. Um, and then and then I would definitely recommend messing it up because then you can really work on your, your soldering skills as I did here. Um, make sure to wire those out of order and then unsolder them and he'll be a pro in no time. But then once done, I think the best thing is you can Take these, loop them on themselves, and uh, they accessorize quite nicely, as you can see here on my dog. Uh, but more importantly, you can definitely test your solder joints with uh, the old weight test. I can't hold that, I can't hold current, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. Yeah, so originally this was my uh, diffuser I was gonna use, and as you can see, it works quite poorly, so trash that bad boy. Um, but more importantly, I found that uh, with a tissue, I could actually, uh, uh, oh my gosh, this is taking forever. You could see it a lot better. Um, so, uh, I'll still clear your uh, workspace when working, but uh, you can see it a lot better. So, with a little bit of a, a diffusion with this, you can reflect the light a lot better. And then with a thinner diffuser, it's looking a lot better, but not what I'm looking for so of course we went with this just beautiful piece of diffused clear PLA <laughs> beautiful yeah so I think the best part about 3d printing your own parts is just the absolute disappointments that can come out of 20 hours but that's okay because well when it doesn't fit there's only one place where it belongs the guard And then from there, you can meticulously look over its brothers and sisters to make sure that no other sort of absolute failure comes out of it. All right, so this part of the video is for those who want to build it. It's going to be a little more slow, a little more boring. I'll probably slap some sick beats over it, but uh, it's just going to show you how to assemble one of these three by uh, hexagons um, if you wanted to go ahead and build it yourself. Um, I will have stuff a whole sort of goodies on GitHub to show you how to build it as well, but um, for those visual learners, I can show you how uh, you can put the LEDs on the post here and then put it into the hole. Repeat that for all three of those. Um, connect them here, of course. Um, struggle very hard to get it into that slot that you designed it for um, to fit in nicely, and then um, give up, um, of course, after it uh, doesn't fit, and uh, worry about it later, because uh, <laughs> what's fixed now can always be fixed later, you know what I mean? Um, yep, that's same failure. Um, yep, can you follow in with a diffuser? Times three. Movie magic love. <laughs> we got her working. I mean, she works like a charm. And then you can take that bad boy, glue it in with its brothers and sisters that aren't failures. And, um, well, you can make some, uh, some magic happen. Ain't no way this man is filling himself glue. There we go. Let's, uh, speed this process up. Pretty simple. Glue is glue. But once done, you can wire it all up and... Plug it in for a beautiful reveal here. Here we go. Oh, oh yeah. That's just beautiful. Now, no board is finished. Katan board is finished without a 
good set of ports and you can't just have those static they gotta light up so the way this works is similar to uh, the hexagons work but it's just a single led that goes in um, to each of the housings these are shaped the same way as the board pieces but um, with each of those in you can then put in the reflectors and then follow it up with the uh, the diffusers which i found didn't fit too well so well brute force always works and then from there i mean oh, just plug them in and with that code they just looking beautiful Oh my goodness, look at this sick game footage. I mean, it doesn't get more dramatic than this. Boom, so there she is in her full glory. Turn her on, randomly generates the board. You have your ports on the outside, and then you got your inside. The numbers stay the same, they don't move. Um, but pretty much when you roll it, it doesn't work sick. <clears throat> Anywho. No, that's working. Hit it with the roll. Animation shows the number that it's rolled. Then you come in here and it updates what you want to roll. But yep, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, uh, if you found this entertaining, there will be links to places where you can donate and pay me. Um, if you didn't, all the links to the files and all that good jazz will be linked below to my GitHub. You can download and build it yourself for free if you feel like. Uh, but yeah, if you... Uh, Feel free to subscribe. I'll probably make more videos like this, just building random stuff that you can download and build for free. Besides that, peace. Sam! 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 What you doing? You got a hot dog, buddy?